morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, the click tracking best practices um, in Mass Mailer. If you're experiencing um, any issues with uh, click tracking settings, meaning if uh, the links are not really replacing the original links uh, and the click tracking is not working, uh, then there could be an issue with the settings of the click tracking itself, or it could be an issue with the, the formatting of the link that you may have um, in your uh, email template. So we're gonna take a look at um, uh, what it's all about. Uh, but first of all, make sure that you have enabled click tracking uh, by going to Mass Miller Setup, Tracking Settings, under Email Event Tracking Settings section, uh, so you would find click tracking, make sure that is enabled. Now, when it comes to the HTML uh, formatting, uh, what you will have to do uh, is basically uh, make sure that uh, the link does have um, the hyperlink A, uh, which is the um, anchor link, um, and an uh, href argument, which will have the reference to uh, the actual link that you're trying to embed. Uh, this is again, if you're gonna have uh, a custom HTML that is built here. Uh, so if you're gonna use Mass Miller Template Builder, uh, you may not be even seeing any HTML code, so it won't apply when you're actually using it uh, within Mass Miller, but you still have to follow the uh, formatting in any case uh, when it comes to the actual link itself. Uh, so if you're gonna have custom HTML, make sure that you have the anchor uh, tag and also you have the href argument in that, okay? And when you're gonna define the href, uh, you're gonna have the equals to symbol. Uh, uh, you know, you should not have any spaces around that. Uh, so the moment you have href, it got to be equals to right after that. And then uh, you got to um, have the HTTP colon forward slash slash or HTTPS for uh, colon and forward uh, slash and forward slash. Uh, so that got to be in quotes, uh, so the double quotes. So you got to make sure that HTTP, HF does have this format. And um, some of the links that are actually given as properly formatted, um, you know, again, if you're using custom HTML, this would really apply. And if you're gonna use Mass Miller Template Builder, obviously uh, you wanna make sure that href is defined properly. Um, that will have uh, HTTP or HTTPS, um, and you need to have that colon, forward slash, forward slash, whatever the link uh, that you're gonna embed. Um, that you need to have as well, okay? And uh, if you have any other properties, that's fine, like target equals to blank, that's all fine, that's not a problem. But href, uh, make sure that you don't have spaces around that equals to symbol. And uh, the HTTP, HTTP or HTTPS is included, that is within quotes, and the formatting needs to um, be proper the way it is displayed here in this example. And if you're gonna have something like what is mentioned here, uh, you know, it'll resolve, it'll, it'll, the link will appear, somebody will be able to click on it, but you won't be able to track it. And the reason you can immediately see that the first one is missing HTTP or HTTPS. Again, the second one is also missing HTTP, HTTPS. Um, and the third one doesn't have code, uh, actually it does, uh, you know, it doesn't have quotes and also there's a space right after uh, equals to symbol. And the fourth one, as you can see again, uh, there's space um, around that equals to symbol, even though uh, there's HTTP and it's within colons, but there is uh, space. So these are all basically uh, won't work, meaning you won't be able to track the click events. Uh, so these are all like a big no-no. You're not supposed to use this. Uh, formatting. So, um, you know, if you notice, the right formatting is in this slide, right? Uh, just carefully observe. And the wrong formatting is in this slide. Okay. Uh, so that's the kind of basic difference. 
And if you ever wanted to turn off the click tracking at a, a specific link level, you can always do it. Uh, so you just have to have the click tracking equals to off um, on that uh, hyperlink. Again, this is possible only if you're gonna use, uh, if you're gonna use the custom HTML. If you're gonna use mass mailer template builder, then you won't be able to edit uh, the actual code behind the scenes. Uh, so um, this is only possible if you're gonna have HTML. Um, the custom HTML. So if you want to uh, turn off the click tracking only for a specific uh, URL, you could do it uh, by having that click tracking equals to off uh, the property at the anchor. Okay. So that's uh, pretty much it. So um, you can just quickly take a look at um, an example. Uh, I would show it to you in the template builder. Okay, so let's just go create a new template. I'll call this as a click tracking example. This is to test click tracking. Right, so we're gonna have a paragraph there. So, correct link, incorrect link. So, for example, the correct link, you have it as HTTPS, let's say, Google. You can see that we got the HTTPS and you don't need to put this in the codes because we add that uh, automatically uh, behind the scenes. So that's the correct link for tracking, uh, incorrect link. So if you just say google.com, there's no HTTPS or anything like that, right? Uh, so that's the incorrect link. I'm gonna go save this and save to Salesforce. Let's say, well, test this out. Just gonna go add that from and to any contact doesn't matter. Just take something and then say test. So I'm just gonna go. Okay, now if you see the difference, the correct link uh, right below, you can see it in the browser, uh, bottom of the browser, uh, there's a sendgit.net, uh, the link that appears. And if you see this incorrect link, uh, it just shows google.com. And it the link appears here where my cursor is. Cursor is uh, if you're not sure. So I'm gonna go mouse over again. Now you see just google.com. And in this scenario, it is actually resolving to sendgit.net and long link. Uh, so basically, if I click on this, you can see that it it'll basically open up Google.com. That's fine, uh, but it won't. Uh, sorry, it will track this in this scenario. And here uh, again, Google.com, but it will not track. So that's the basic difference: the correct link and an incorrect link. Um, you know, again, um, if you're using custom HTML. Um, we already talked about uh, the formatting, uh, so you should be able to kind of figure this out by now. Okay. Any questions? All right. 
uh, no questions, uh, feel free to reach us, uh, reach us out anytime. Uh, this contact information, this is my direct contact information in the company uh, contact information as well. If you're new to mass mailer, feel free to get on a trial. Here is the link for the trial. And then uh, this is a, a weekly webinar that we schedule every, every week, um, Thursday. So feel free to subscribe to it on our website, on the social channels. And if you're part of our email list, we also, um, you know, we'll be publishing um, this particular webinar uh, video as well. And also we'll announce the new webinar for next week. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar and take care. Have a great day and have a great evening. Bye-bye.